Hello and welcome back. Now that we have created our planner groups, we'll go ahead and define our locations. This is the physical location of a technical object such as an equipment. A good example would be building as a location. So we are going to customize the location by going to SPRO, then to IMG, then to Enterprise Structure, Definition, Logistics, Define Location. We have a list of ex existing locations here. We are going to make new entries for our plant. So the first one is going to be BRI 3. That is our plant, and we have building B100, that's building 1. The second one is building 2, and the third one is building 3. So we are ready now to go ahead and save our locations. Our plant is here. We have the location code and then the location name. So we go ahead and save and right here we are prompted to edit the address for BRI3, B100. So we can, let's go ahead and just populate some of the fields here. This is US. It's further down. So the second one. That's US. And then we have the third one, BRI B300. And you can populate the rest of the fields as, as needed. So I'm making it short for the purpose of this illustration. So again, that is US. save. So you enter and our buildings, our locations have been saved now. So the next thing that we are going to do just before we end this video is we are going to define plant sections and plant sections allow us to divide our maintenance plant into production areas. So you could have a section where you're doing machining, a section where you're doing milling, and and such. So we're gonna go back to enterprise structure. Actually we are going to customize that from uh, we go to SPRO then to IMG and that one is going to be under plant maintenance and customer service. Again we are trying to define our plant sections so it's going to be under plant maintenance and customer service and then maintenance and service processing then to basic settings, general data, and finally to define plant sections. So we go ahead and do that and what we have here is we have the plant column, we have the section column, and then we have the 
responsible personnel and uh, the phone number. So we are going to make new entries and our plant is BRI3. Our plant section, we can call it section 100 as the first section and the person responsible, let's call him Tom, phone number 123, BRI3 200, then 456, and the person responsible is Harry. Then we have BRI3, that's the third section, is going to be 300. We have Rick and the telephone number is 789. So we have the plant sections now. So that is under plant BRI1, BRI3 plant section 100 we have the responsible person and again like I said earlier what this does is that it allows you to divide maintenance plant into uh, production areas and you can have somebody uh, the responsible personnel that allows you to identify that section easily so thank you for watching and uh, we're gonna be looking at the creation of work centers next.